So how does it feel seeing the other first time nominees today? It's so fun. I mean, the past few weeks have just been such a celebration of our whole community and um, having this particular moment where we get to celebrate just being first timers and the nerves that come with all of that and the excitement. It's really special. There's something special about that, right? This first time thing and everybody kind of being in that first timers club. Yeah, I mean, it's fun because in my show, Ben Platt has won a Tony and has gone through this not too long ago. And so um, it's really so joyful to have him around to remind me to stay present through all these crazy moments and busy moments. But then it's also fun to, you know, be in little groups with people who have never gone through this before. We're just running blind. And it's also, there's something beautifully naive about all of that too. It seems to be working though. <laughs> yeah. How do you enjoy photo shoots like this, getting all glammed up? Do you like these moments too? I personally love it. I adore playing dress up. I really do love kind of the idea of at night, playing this character I know and love so well now. And then during the day, um, finding different versions of me and different clothing. I think it's really fun. And everybody's so good at their job. And mm -hmm. when you work with makeup artists and stylists who kind of can inhabit some sort of personality of yours or part of you, it's really fun to collaborate on that. And so um, to me, that's what this is all about, the collaboration of like, Yes, I am the one sitting here, but there were many hands on this before I sat in this chair. <laughs> they're artists too, though. They're, fel they're exactly. fellow artists, right? Exactly. So when did you uh, first dream of being nominated for a Tony? Oh gosh, shamefully very early on. I mean, I was definitely one of those kids who DVR'd the Tonys and it was, you know, my mom and I Super Bowl. Um, and it always just felt like this, this huge day for Broadway and, you know, movies and TV and film, they're, they're big in a different way. And we as actors doing it eight times a week, we do all the press and get to do, go do our show. And so I just think being like in it while it's all happening, it's so weird because when you're a viewer of it all, it seems so different <laughs> than when you're inside of it. And also the same in some ways, like it's still just as dreamy as I thought well, when that's I was what, three, you know? That's what I wanted to ask you. So uh, the excitement getting ready for the ceremony too, cause you like, you obviously like fashion, you know I it, know, it's New I York. Know, I love it. Are you excited about getting ready for the ceremony? I'm so excited, although it's a crazy day. I mean, this mm -hmm. is what I mean. You don't know when you're, you know, 10 years old watching the Tonys that you have a matinee that day. You have a matinee the day of the Tonys. So you I do a show that. at two o'clock and then have to be on the carpet by six. And then, you know, you just got ready for the carpet, have to undo all of the makeup and hair you just did to perform and then run back and sit in your seat and do it all again. I mean, it's a chaotic day, but it's also just exhilarating and there's something so unglamorous about it and there's something so unglamorous about Broadway too in a way that makes me feel like, you know, the true gritty New Yorkers that yes. we are. Yes. Um, it's so very different from from what it may feel like on a couch. Probably, right? Yeah. Um, this moment in your career, are you able to take it in and enjoy it and try to be present or is it just moving fast right now? You know, it's a beautiful question. I think I kind of hinted to this earlier, but Ben has been such a beautiful, solid um, ground to remind me that, you know, these this is gonna happen and not many times in our life. So we have to kind of take these moments in and also to remember that at the end of the day, we're being celebrated for our work and that is what we love and we get to do it every day. We get to go on stage and tell the story. So. For me, there's so many rewards to all of this besides being nominated, and um, that's the cherry on top, all the whipped cream, the sprinkles, everything. It sounds like you appreciate it all. <laughs> yeah, like I try, I'm trying, yes. Uh, biggest cheerleader up until now. Oh, oh my gosh, I mean, immediately it's my mom. I have a single mom and I'm an only child. She moved me to New York, so um, that is probably the easiest question I will have to answer in my entire life. She will always be my biggest cheerleader from the beginning. What's it like to share this part of your career now with loved ones? It's so amazing. It's so like, um, there's something relieving about it too. It's something I've wanted for so long and, and it's been this big thing and for it to be happening kind of so early in my life, feels like a privilege, feels like an honor. Um, I couldn't have asked for a better story to do it with. Mm -hmm. I think that's part of it too, is my family members who are coming to this show, see the show. I grew up Jewish, so my whole family is coming. And 
And like, you know, I love doing Cher. It was such a celebration of her as a human. So fun to connect with an audience in that sure. way. And Parade just feels like a whole new level of connection, of storytelling. I am so grateful that my family can come see it and feel seen when we light the Shabbat candles. And you know how holy the moment is when he says the Shema at the end of the show. And there's so many moments that feel like m core memories, I think, to my family now. And I'm honored to give them that gift. You, you certainly are giving them a gift uh, every, every night. You know, you mentioned your mom. Talk a little bit about that and your relationship with her because that is such, that is such a special part of who, of who you are. Oh, gosh. The most special part of who I am. I grew up in Margate, New Jersey, and I remember I kind of started dancing. And I remember she was like, you're growing out of your dance studio, and so I'm just going to make one. And she created this dance studio in Margate and for four years hired all these amazing teachers. And I did a million classes with all my friends. And it was like the most surprising, like who right. would think of that? And then we spent a summer in New York and moved back home and it was always just us. And she was like, should we just move? And we did. And then all of a sudden I was going to LaGuardia High School and we've, she's always just been this like ready for adventure and, you know, not at all, like doesn't sing, has never done theater, just loves it, loves art and loves supporting an artist and I think is so fulfilled by it. And that is the reason I'm, I'm sitting in this chair. I mean, really, she, she just has been the biggest champion from the beginning and always finding new ways to kind of support what my heart wants. And, you know, I still come home sometimes and I'm like, I'm never doing this again. It's so hard or I'm having anxiety about something or whatever. And she's like, uh-huh. <laughs> you know, it's like she can totally meet me where I am. I right. know that this is my greatest love and my first love. And she, you know, she feels it, it all with you. Yeah. And knows you're going to wake up tomorrow and do it again. That is correct. <laughs> um, six years, just six years ago, you were a high school senior at LaGuardia. Yeah. Did you ever imagine that you'd just be right here? I mean, that, that is a short amount of time ago. I know, I know. I mean, no, I absolutely could have never imagined it. I booked Cher right out of high school and it was obviously life-changing experience mm -hmm. and I was so grateful to the other w women in that cast who kind of helped sure. guide me as I was 19 and was growing up and figuring out who I wanted to be in the world. And this process kind of feels like I've I know who I am more and I'm able to be the kind of, for lack of a better word, artivist that I kind of want to be and Parade is such a great vessel for that. But yeah, it is surprising and, and beautiful and I don't take it for granted and know that I am I'm deeply lucky and also proud of the work that I've done. And to be sharing the stage with two just incredible Broadway stars, Ben and Stephanie, mm -hmm. is just had to be amazing for you. I mean, legends. Legends. They're, they're so, they have such respect for the art, which I think is, I've never really said that out loud before, but I do think both of them like, love deeply what we do and are such kind of detectives of a script and and I feel similarly and so it's always very fun to to play with them on stage and both of them really have this kind of sense on stage that they you know it's free for them and so it's slightly different every night and we're able to kind of weave in how we feel on that particular day, which is such a huge part of Broadway to me, is like you have to you have to show up where you are or it's mm -hmm. gonna be so exhausting and put some kind of self within the work. And both of them do that so beautifully while being consistent. And that to me is what a great scene partner is. I'm just really grateful to have had both of them.